All right, so we are going to be going out to Bayfin this May long weekend. But to kick things off, we're going to pay a visit here to Killarney Outfitters situated just west of Killarney Provincial Park, just at the backdrop of the gorgeous Laquash Mountains back there. This is the one-stop shop for all outdoor things you need if you're heading off in the backcountry or even the campground here canoes, kayaks, any equipment you may have forgotten. So we're going to check out the store there, get geared up, then we're going to meet the owner, Ted East, and we're going to get a water shuttle to the start of our adventure. We're looking forward to it. What's up, Leo? Unlike a normal camper, I did not pack properly for this trip for the field, or for the shoulder season, so I'm picking up an awesome lightweight fleece. <laughs> Tell me, have you found everything you need here? <laughs> I found everything I need here you're and more. You're so cheesy. I know. <laughs> so we're here with Ted East, owner of Killarney Outfitters, and we're gonna be heading off to Bay Finn. And we're actually taking one of these new offerings they have here. It's a water taxi shuttle, so you can get deeper into the park. Uh, and you don't have to paddle on the exposed coast of Georgian Bay. We're gonna do a little different trip this time. My knee is still busted up from some surgery. We're not gonna do really any portages. So we're gonna get shuttled in there, enjoy the gorgeous fjord-like scenery, paddle our way down along the coast there. Um, but this is a great way to get into the back country of Clarny Park, a really good option for those who wanna cut off some distance and get into the interior of the park. So you've been shuttled by cars. How do you feel about getting shuttled by a boat? Uh, it's a first. I'm really excited about it. it. Shaves off about 33 kilometers for us on a cold, windy day. So, really um, spoiled. I feel like we're having a glamping experience. We brought about six bricks of cheese to celebrate this yummy, <laughs> wonderful camping trip that we're about to go on. So, I'm pretty excited. Let's go canoeing! <laughs> Our paddle would take us southwest of Killarney Provincial Park, through the open waters of Lake Huron's Georgian Bay. Our trip would start with a boat shuttle to the pool on Killarney's western fringe. From there, we would paddle Bay Thin, a narrow fjord flanked by the rolling white quartzite hills of the Lacloche Mountains. We would then enter the exposed waters of Lake Huron's Georgian Bay. Skirting the coast of Fraser Bay, we would paddle south to the limestone rocks of Badgerly Point before turning northeast through Killarney Bay to the picturesque harbour town of Killarney. All told, our trip would see us paddle 45 kilometres along a wild western coast. Ted from Killarney Outfitters has dropped us off here at the pool. Bon voyage. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. And we are about to get started on our trip back to the town of Killarney, paddling through Bay Finn and out to Lake Huron, Georgian Bay. It's a bit of a gray day right now and it's calling for some rain. So we're going to try to get a bit of distance behind us gonna be paddling down this gorgeous section of Bay Finn. Right now we're in the pool which is apparently uh, one of the world's most renowned freshwater anchorages for boats so and the scene around here even though it's a great day certainly tells that. Ready Leo? Yeah. 
Let's do it. Let's do this. Cuddle, drama. Does it feel good to be back on the water, babes? I thought it would never happen. Well, it wasn't the first big trip we wanted to at the start, but ideally we would have been paddling the last two weekends already. It is what it is. So now we are entering the wider channel of Bay Fin. Bit of a headwind. Not bad though. Rain is holding off. That makes me a very happy camper. Oh, camera, you have a deep voice. Rainy weekend on Bay Finn. So what do we got for dinner tonight? We got smoked duck pizza with cambiola. Cambazola? Cambazola. We got some smoked cheese on there as well too. Lots of peppers and onions. Oh yeah. She gonna be good. Day two, a little later start than we wanted to get and it's super windy. So we're gonna head out down Bay Finn a bit near McGregor Point, see how the wind shifts down there. We've got a tailwind right now, white caps out there, but uh, yeah, we're in the 17 six foot the North Wind boat. So we'll see how it handles the rougher waters of Bay Finn and maybe Fraser Bay out Lake here on Georgia Bay there today. So we'll see how the morning goes here. Uh, like I said, it's a little later, so the winds are whipping up as we're getting closer to the afternoon hours, unfortunately. Good. Well, the nice thing about this boat is it's long. It might get a bit wet. So far, so good. Woo! I figured as much. We're gonna push ahead, try to get a couple kilometers behind us today. I am so glad we are not going up Bay Finn today. We're not too far away from the village of Killarney, so if we only go about five or six kilometers today, we can get up early on Monday and make a final push for it. So we're not too, too worried about that, but yeah, let's go. All right, let's tack. Well done, well done. Pull me in, do a big uh, draw. Another draw. Good. Sometimes going with the waves is a little nerve wracking too. It wants to make you surf. <laughs> Died down a bit, thankfully. Yeah. Now it's raining. <laughs> but I take rain over waves, so. Man, a gray day does not do those uh, white quartzite hills magic at all. Here's a 
a big one. And another big one. Yeah, I know, I'm like, F we're almost there. Yep, that's what I'm thinking, a little more pressure, but this angle's perfect. Even if we miss it a bit, we can always shoot into it. For Paddling Georgian Bay, Clarny Outfitters now supplies North Star canoes and the North Wind model. And today actually we were getting some decent wake at times too and decent wind and it was plowing through there pretty well. We found it was actually tracking really nicely going through some of the winds, especially when we were attacking and taking some of the waves on at an angle. There's not a really strongly pronounced rocker on there. It's not really aggressive so it's really good for cutting through the wind and the wake. Not a lot of free board, so you don't want to really overload it. Um, but for uh, general open water paddling, it cuts through the wind and the wake really, really nicely there. So we're actually able to, uh, you know, afford to do some of these open water crossings today with fairly ease and make it here to this nice little bay. But yeah, not so bad. It's rainy, bruh. So much rain. Yeah, it rained. Yeah, I thought. We should bring the canoe up to here at least. Oh, yeah, we'll bring it up there. Especially because we're getting a storm tonight. It's not raining really anymore. <laughs> I'll get out some wine for us. Yo, wine and cheese, what, what? So, rainy day. On Georgian Bay, we're making a backcountry chicoutry. Doesn't get much more glamping than that. Heck, we're even on a wooden tent platform in this absolutely amazing bay. Just sucks about the rain, but you know what? Like, who cares? The only good thing about a rainy day is chicoutry very, very early in the evening with wine and smoked salmon. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I feel like we earned this one. All right, what a rainy day it's been so far. We managed to get down Bay Finn, and we're out here, Fraser Bay. We've got gorgeous uh, ridges of the Cloche Mountains extending out here into Georgian Bay Lake Huron. And we're on this gorgeous little cobblestone beach just on the side of Fraser Bay. And there's actually a tent platform here. So we're paddling along, looking at the topo. Saw this bay and thought there probably is going to be a beach there based on prevailing winds. And as we rounded the corner, sure enough, we see this amazing cobblestone beach. But then we've got this added bonus of this awesome little tent platform here. So Crown Land, it's probably popular with the yachts and pleasure boaters coming through here in the summer and someone probably built this here, but yeah, pretty awesome for us. May long weekend, rainy day too, but got a nice stable platform for the tent, good place for the tarp up in there, get us away from the rain. Uh, it's starting to diminish a bit, but we've got some thunderstorms coming in overnight, so we'll see what's gonna happen coming in off the lake there. Anyways, this is Amazing. It really reminds us kind of of uh, Lake Superior Provincial Park uh, area. Not really Lake, uh, Lake Huron at all. Really gorgeous with these kind of high cliffs and majestic white pines growing out of there. Really gorgeous part of Killarney. It's a part of Killarney that I don't think a lot of people actually get to witness and experience and fortunately so. This is really mesmerizing.
good morning it is a rainy day again it's supposed to be clearing up there's actually a bit of a patch of a blue sky coming through there anyways we're going to paddle down around this giant peninsula on the cloche ridges here and uh, make our way back up to the town of Killarney today it looks about 20 maybe 22 kilometers of paddling <laughs> a bit of a tailwind for a good portion of this and then when we turn back up towards Killarney we'll see if we're sheltered between some of those islands. Anyways, we're looking forward to the paddle today. Let's hope the rain holds off and that blue sky does shine through, which should be a great day out here on the edge of Killarney. Oh. And it's raining again. And, I mean, I'm gonna see what if the boat can handle in worst case scenario. That's true. We're just gonna go as close out here as we can so we can take the advantage. Yeah, like look at those waves. Yeah. Holy okay, here we go. Back to the waves. Man, that's blowing in quite the wind now. Go. 5k stretch now might be a little more nerve wracking, babe. You got it. I know you got it. We got three rollers coming in, and they're big. It's bad timing, okay? Get ready for it. Here they come. Here they come. This is the number two. Here, number three. We got attack now. And up. Yep. 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 Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're going to clear this point. Way to go, babe. Yeah, we got to find that Fort Dodge. Well done, babe. Should be calm right behind this rock, eh? Yeah. All right, this is calm, let's go. Nice. Oh, man. We did well, we barely got any water in the boat. All right, so. There are white caps out there. The surf was getting a little crazy. And anyways, uh, Ted told us as we were shuttling in that there was actually a portage towards the end of this peninsula. I once, can't wait to a portage. That's a rarity. <laughs> no. And there's a really easy portage through the cedars to a secluded lake. And then on the other side of that lake, there's another little portage to take us out towards the bay. But nice sheltered out of the wind in there. Very magical scenery. It's nice to get off the open waters of Georgia Bay for a while, especially with some of that heavy surf. It was a little nerve wracking going through there at times. Absolutely amazing scenery, and you know, paddling Georgian Bay sometimes you've got to factor in the weather. Today might have been a windbound day if we didn't have the proper equipment to tackle it or the skills. Uh, but thankfully, we had all of the above and we made it to this portage. So we're going to see what conditions are going to be like on the opposite shore. Because the wind's coming in from the west, 
we should be fairly sheltered as we uh, make our way up that section there. So we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah, wish us luck. Well, it's calm. Alright, we made it to the town of Killarney and the sun's coming out now after three days of pretty much grey skies and rain. Just as we get to town, we get warm sun and blue skies. That's our unfortunate luck. But yeah, I couldn't shoot all the amazing scenery because it was so grey, dark, windy and rainy. But got to take my word for it, uh, Bay Finn and Little Cloche Mountains going down there are absolutely breathtaking. Coming through to this quaint harbor town of Killarney is pretty spectacular too to see from the water. So we're going to paddle on in and we are starving. So we're going to drop into Herbert's Fish and Chips for their world famous fresh caught fish and chips there. Can't wait. We are hungry. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. To Herbert's we go. <laughs> Dry suit and all. Looks like you made it after all, eh? We did. Bon voyage. 